At this time, I'd like to, uh, to welcome U.S. Army Reservist Eric Hank.
Maybe it can't be put down on paper, but it can be applied to every walk of life. I fell back to what I knew. Now, I can't put that on a resume, what I just told you guys, but that skill set is going to get me through life. And, uh, and I appreciate the opportunity. That, uh, just like Gail, I, uh, I appreciate Diana. Uh, Diana's like, and it slips my name all the time, and, and I don't mean this disrespectfully, but if any, some of the older crowd, if you remember MASH, remember the guy who didn't get anything he needed? <laughs> yeah. So that, that's, that's who gets you know, that, that's who Gail is to me. You go to her, you tell her you need a swimming pool, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, she comes up with that. And, and then lastly, I, but, and, and this is really on my heart, and, you know, I don't get these opportunities very often, but if you could bear with me just for a second, and I want to talk to the veterans that are in class now. I, and I hope this comes across right. I, I find it very important that everything that I've always done, I felt like we're doing it for the next person the next generation, the next set of souls, you take the hill for the people that are behind you. And I believe that in class. And if you look at the statistics today, that, you know, I hear it all the time that, that the VA or the veterans are the biggest out of uh, unemployed group. And I think as, as, as soldiers that are in school, we need to keep that in mind, that every day that we sit down next to somebody, that's the future CEO, that's the future business owner. You know, those are the people that the kids that are over there right now are going to be wanting jobs for them. So let's don't make the mistake and let their only impression of a veteran be the guy that shows up late, doesn't come to class, doesn't know what he's doing. We're a special group and we have a special responsibility. I'm proud to be in there.